Wonderful vibes, moist welcome to my channel. I'm Charlotte Chi, and today we're gonna upgrade what it is to move in your ascension, what it is to move with the present day vortexes, how to upgrade. As people may feel, the energies are becoming a little bit weird, a little bit different, and so there is some kind of a soft breeze going on, so people are getting a lot less angry and moving more into the heart configurations because more and more photonic light, different waves of light move into the planet and we can feel that lightness of energies overriding the old world, moving with the transitions. It's also a new year in the universes it's a new year for our children going to school. It's a new year in our consciousness or spirit that has a huge opportunity to lift vibrations, to lift vortexes, again, with new light codes that are downloading by the masses when being in alignment. And so this month is truly about empowering the self because it's a huge opportunity to move uh, all along into the eternal gate, the eternal vortexes, coming up with red ray codes. Remember, red ray always connected to Aries vibrations. They are powerful people. They go straight. They are high in business. They have uh, their inner um, shield of direction so much to the point so and so much more. And so the codes coming up here, that is here, for example, the red arc of consciousness. An arc is always part of one circle. If we divide a circle into a straight line going up and down a straight line from left to right, we have four arcs that carry huge levels of consciousness. And that is where the divine, the universes, uh, the entire cosmos is guiding us into. And we are lucky to have actually uh, this new age into the Aquarian, Acturian vibrations, green light go, because it is in retrograde, meaning that loads of shifts can be happening during uh, this particular time uh, period. Uh, you may witness people going a little bit weird, acting weird, doing stuff you're not used to. It's because they are transitioning and they they may not know what to do with their energy or some have a lift in energy that is immense some are experiencing uh, a downgrade in energy because if we don't align on a daily level then energies may not shift as quick but take at heart here in this month of September. If you want to join me with uh, the empowering light codes, I will definitely bring through the red story, the red arc of consciousness, opening up and uh, definitely opening up that green gate. That green story represents the movement of knowledge that needs to be opened up. Uh, into that uh, eight-pointed red story that is actually uh, a recognition for the eighth dimension, the eighth plane that opens up with your eternal vibrations as we are all eternal beings and we want to move fast. That is truly the gate that empowers the self because when we think about uh, geometry, it doesn't really kick in the body. We cannot really set geometry in the body unless there is alignment. And with the alignment opening up with at least a golden pillar moving all the way into the beyond, because gold is alchemy, gold is part of you, gold is to be found in the ley lines all over the earth, gold is to be found in your meridian, so working with gold and the red ray is very, very potent uh, this month when you are willing to align 
to a higher degree to your own templates, to your own designs, to your own geometrical pattern, then I definitely would invite you to my free weekly uh, alignments to uh, light and star codes if you wish. They are free and being streamed to Zoom. So join us, it's new. So we are starting this art right here. And so uh, every week more and more people participate because it's easy to go to, but it's also um, uh, bringing to actually a new level of understanding of how to align to a light code. And a light coat, like I have a light coat right here. There's a triangle within it. There is a spiral making up an arc. There is an original seashell spin, spinning to the sea level on the earth level. That is the same design, actually. And so in the end, when it spins, purifies the sea levels, has opened an arc of energy that I have designed right here. It's my individual uh, template, but so potent as it came through the yellow way. So the yellow, the orange ray merging in with the new gate opening into the great central sun that is our home, that is Shambhala. So rising our vibration all the way up with the new vortexes coming to, I will definitely uh, suggest to work a lot with gold and the red rays here uh, this month, as well as rising into your own domain of knowledge. A domain of knowledge is, uh, you know, you need your connectivity to your source, to your spark self, your spirit, your spark is your higher self. And your higher self has many, many levels. But when it's integrated, not only in the brain, but definitely in the heart, and you feel the pulse of your spark self, then chances are you are being directed like 24 seven, and you hear your spark speak all of the time. If you don't have that, then there is a way to move into that. And movement into that should be fun. Like, of course, it is hard work to move into a light body from a light body foundation and knowing how that works and working with all the 12 ways of creation, uh, moving into that tree of life that hosts the 22 seraphods, the 22 Hebrew letters, the English uh, language as well as the Chinese language is a foundation. With that foundation, one can go anyway, <laughs> anywhere into the cosmos because alignment is upgrading every day very, very quickly. And so for those willing to move in a foundation that upgrades definitely in to the elastial bodies that opens up the envelopes like this code into the knowledge that the elastial color that actually moves as one with the eternal universal body that is actually termed also your dragon vibe uh, for those who love the dragons that is the higher level in so without getting in the alignment uh, that is the uh, new tree of life the makiva we already moved massively out, out of the old tree that is a macabre. It doesn't function anymore. So it's so use aligning to it. It wouldn't do anything because we need actually the diamond of light geometrical pattern that opens up into the envelopes, the elastial celestial embodiment. And these envelopes can make the split shift that hosts consciousness, it hosts data, it hosts personal uh, abilities, skills, capabilities, uh, so much more. And you can start remembering who you are. If you start remembering who you are, you can, you know, receive massive light codes like I receive every day, every week. It depends on the alignments coming through. And uh, if you like to move fast, then I would suggest move with light codes. They open vortexes. A light code 
opens up pulls upon pulls upon pulls and allows you to open up into the invisible immortal realms from the I am presence that is your light body foundation the new tree of life we can move into the omnipotent omnipresence and when they fuse you get the split shift of both diamonds so they create again that triangular equation grounding the bottom line triangle that is the elastial body that moves from a foundation opening up into your universal embodiment into Shambhala that is the upper triangle and then you can open up that phoenix horizon into your universal level where things become crystal clear so crystalline clarity opening to the eyes opens first to the glandular system the glandular system opens triangle upon triangle and so that's an alignment i will be bringing to merging pineal amygdala and the pituitary glands to open up into the eye of divine opening up and into the eternal gate that opens up the number that is connected to the eternal gate is the number eight which is very very potent so if only you know how to align to it that will be on the next monday here <laughs> if you want to join and it's fun because in 15 minutes time you can learn how to do it and if you integrate one code just one code a week and you work with it for a week you will see massive results in the body in the brain in consciousness and you won't have such a weirdo time <laughs> coming to uh, this month because a lot of things are happening are shifting very very quickly so that's a change and shift in uh, friendships and jobs you can't possibly uh, perform anymore you cannot perform these tasks anymore friendships you thought that were the deepest on the planet when won't function anymore just i, I would just suggest like, align to the beauty that you are be open to what the divine brings through reclaim your eternal vibrations sit with it respect the divine bring the humility to invite your alignment to the divine your source your spirit your spark and see what comes through upgrade your breathing system like if we upgrade the breath from the eternal uh, or the breath of your source into the eternal breath into the immortal breath into the cosmological breath then your lungs truly get wings and you link in with the um, angelite kingdoms and uh, the higher lights become because they become more and more crystal clear and that actually happens with the vortexes of the higher race so here upcoming uh right now as well is especially the invisible way and the beauty of the aquamarine way because the foundation of purification of rewiring the brain rewiring the body rewiring consciousness is all within the circulation system the circulation system communicating with everything that we are the central nervous system the glands the the kidneys um whatever you term it but it needs to move synchrone with the invisible clear way that opens up spans the direction into the crystallization such as you can see on the design here and the crystallization opens up the water gates to transition the water in the body because the, we need to merge with the water body of the earth. The earth is almost all water. Our bodies are almost all water. So the direction is definitely into the element of water and bringing through with the aquamarine way. So I will definitely bring through uh, alignments here. What it takes to purify, to uh, actually delete the emotional content the emotional body that was never meant to be but it came into creation of course it was the intention to create it so um as we know 
uh, to get your in lower vibration. So that when once when we transition the emotional body and we move into the higher light senses, that replaces that and we open up into the six, seven, eight, nine, ten senses and then so forward, you become more and more refined. Like, you know, my vibration, uh, like this morning, I got up at 2.30 and I don't go back to that. It's just, I don't need it anymore. But it took me some uh, training and the training here, if you want to move all the way, be your own mastery in your embodiment, defeating everything you have with knowledge, intelligence, wisdom, technologies coming through that are massively higher than the technology you find on the computer on your iPhone today because that is innate and when you open it up and you receive them and you apply them and you receive, you see the results every day, that is so, so beautiful. That is something to live for. Most people don't have anything anymore to live for. Because if a life streams, doesn't stream, let's say, on, on passion, on creation, on new things, on, on inspiration, aspiration, and everyday creations, because we are all creator vibes, yet so much disconnected from the highest level of creation ever. That is when the sacral center broke down and females started to birth babies and from there on everything broke because they could lower their consciousness more and more and so men don't have that problem so much as females because they don't birth children right <laughs> but um so there is a lot to recover and once you are in the higher vibrations to alignment especially here with the new vortexes coming through the new alignments, I will definitely bring to the, the red ray star code to lift your vibration in the red ray, as well as opening here the elastial envelopes and the transition of the body with the aquamarine uh, designs, the aquamarine beauty that goes with the white purification and the invisible way. And so you have it all going to actually redefine yourself somehow. Redefine, rethink who you are, getting to know yourself and getting massive support from the universe to uplift your vibration in a more interesting life, I would say, because it's all open. The gates are open, everything is available to everybody. And so the unification is going to be massive. We feel people want to express more. We feel that people want to give more love. We feel that people are getting lesser and lesser egotistical, so to speak. Something is going on and it's massive in the incoming weeks, uh, especially. So uh, here it's a matter of tuning in, getting a new light code into your body every week. That will help you to understand what it is to get a light code. Like opening a geometrical pattern, just saying like a dodecahedron, a triangle, whatever, without having it opened up from your own eyes. So I mean to say by this, when you're in meditation and it doesn't show up by itself, then the alignment cannot kick in. You need the alignment. And so here I'm guiding you into the alignment. And then of course you can apply uh, that code because we cannot just sit and set a code, a design. It will, would have a hard time to kick in. And when you set yourself within a code, you work with it, you have pleasure with it. You do different things with it. You may have ideas with it. That is where you become the true self and perhaps being surprised of, about your capabilities, your new skills, your new passion. So it's, you know, the best question one can have in this time truly is, where is my life moving into? 
will it bring me joy and passion and laughter and fun and abundance at some point like true satisfactory vibrations so and that is when manifestations start to move in we need to be in the level of joy and gratefulness and all that stuff but also in gratitude and humility with the divine knowing that you are connected when you don't feel these vortexes through the heart pulsing 24 7 it's hard to even acknowledge the divine sources and forces moving here and your direct connect to your spark and your source so here um i wish you all good luck if you want to join me in the incoming weeks it's free it's on zoom and um it's gonna open it's uh, 7 p.m brussels time every week so it's easy in the united states it's in the morning i guess between 10 and 1 something so you have to look up your time so that'd be great and also let me know if you receive your own light codes what do you do with it how do you design them because getting codes and not being able or not having the knowledge about what to do with it may also be a little bit difficult but hey stream it up get it up get it down and uh, just you know assist the movement into unity into oneness because we're all the same and that's the reason why i opened these free meditational light codes alignments free to join okay see you in the next one thank you so much i'm charlotte G.